welcome to the Alpha Male 2.0 podcast. Here we are once again. I am Caleb Jones. This is Alpha Male 2.0, freedom-focused lifestyle design for men, dating multiple attractive women all at the same time while having a high location independent income. I've been living this lifestyle for 16 years now, coming on my 16th year anniversary very shortly here. And uh, this is now 2023. We are now officially for reals in the 2020s. It's not like, you know, the first year of a decade is really that decade. So 1990 was really an 80s year, not a 90s year. And I love at 1990, all these people said, it's the 90s now, it's the 90s. Yeah, I mean, technically it's the 90s, but it was still the 80s. So in 2020, we were kind of still in the 2000 teens, in my opinion, but now we're in 2023. There's no getting around it. We are in the 2020s, we're in the 20s, in the 21st century. And many of you have been listening to my content for a long time. To many of you, I am new. Regardless of what category that you're in, I'm gonna try not to repeat everything I've been saying for a long time, and that we live in a collapsing Western society, in that every year, if you live in the Western world, every year will get worse than the last year. 2023 will be worse than 2022. 2022 is worse than 2021, and so forth and so on. And this trend will continue until the United States, Canada, and Europe, particularly Western Europe, will collapse. And these things will happen in our lifetimes. Moreover, on top of these economic factors, you also have governmental factors where taxes are going to go up. If you live in the Western world, taxes are going to go up. You can vote for Republicans all you want, you fucking Trump morons. Taxes are still gonna go up every five to 10 years. Every five to 10 years, the total amount of taxes you'll be paying will increase. On top of that, inflation will go up. So your cost of living will get higher and higher Every fucking year, you choose to remain in the West. And unfortunately, I'm aware that most of the people in my audience will indeed remain in the West. I wish they wouldn't. I wish they would have escaped the sinking ship like I did. I got the hell out of the United States in 2021. I'm in Dubai. I've never been happier. It's fantastic. It's not perfect, but it's way better than the United States. Oh, paying zero taxes in Dubai, it's a good thing. Anyway, if you're going to stay in the collapsing Western world, and most of you are, these are the things you have to look forward to. Declining economics every year, rising taxes every year, rising inflation every year. In addition to that, more and more people are gonna be angry and depressed. More people are gonna be angry about politics. More people are gonna get depressed. More people are gonna get addicted to drugs. More people are going to kill themselves. And on and on and on, these things are gonna to continue to get worse every year until the collapse finally occurs, which it will in your lifetime. This means that you are out of time. You don't have time to screw around anymore. If this was the 80s or the 90s or the 2000s, maybe the early 2000 teens, then maybe that's an iffy one. Maybe you could say, oh, I got time to fuck with that later. That is no longer true now. You have to get your shit together. You don't have time anymore to fuck around. The dark age, which I have referred to several times, has now officially begun. It's begun quite a while ago. It's going to get worse. Now you should have, those of you who have been listening to me a long time, you should have already acted on my advice, then today you'd be sitting pretty. And to be fair, there's a lot of you in my audience who did that. You guys are awesome. You guys are my bros, you guys are my peeps. You guys actually took action and you have multiple women on rotation now. You've got your location dependent income. You're making several thousand dollars. Some of you are making more than that per month. Totally location dependent. Some of you have left the collapsing West. Some of you are remaining in the collapsing West. Cool, whatever. But you've taken action on these things. And even if you're staying in the collapsing West, you have the option of leaving whenever you want because you took action. You built your location dependent business. Awesome, I love you. So I'm not talking to you guys this podcast. I mean, you're invited to listen in, but I'm not talking to you guys. You guys did it. Depending on your income goals, you may not be done. That depends on you. But you guys did it. Not talking to you. I'm talking about everyone else. The other 98% of you, and this is typical of anyone's audience, the vast majority of anyone's audience, the vast majority of people who read a book don't take action of what's in that book. The vast majority of anyone's audience are not taking the advice of the person they're listening to. So the vast majority of you, 
have not taken action on any of my advice or taken action on some of my advice and not others, or maybe dabbled in some of my advice. You're really not focused on it. And I'm going to ask you a question. How bad does it have to get for you to, for you to get off your ass? Number one. Number two, if you wait to get off your ass when it gets really bad, will it be too late? That's my thing. And that's why I left the United States in 2021 instead of 2025. Those of you who have been following my material for a long, long time, you know that historically, years ago, starting in 2012, I said I'm leaving the United States in 2025. I'm leaving the United States in 2025. That was my target date. Then 2020 hit, and we had the pandemic. Everyone went insane. Then on top of that, we had all the riots and all the other problems, and the left-wingers went further insane. They've always been insane. They went further insane. Then the right went completely insane, and now everyone's insane. And I remember the day, I've mentioned this before, I told my wife in, two, in the summer of 2020, I said, you know what? Uh, we're not waiting to 2025. We're getting out now. We're getting the fuck out of here now. And in February of 2021, I got the fuck out. And that's why I did that. It's not that, oh my God, I can't stand this anymore. I mean, there was an emotional component. That's part of that was accurate. Part of that was part of my decision. But the main part of it was 2025, it'll be too late. I don't want to wait till it's too late. I want to get out where the getting is good. The reason I have made thousands upon thousands of dollars historically, not lately, I've been too busy. But historically, I've made thousands of dollars in profit playing blackjack. And one of the keys, not the whole key, but one of the keys to making money in blackjack is you quit when you're ahead. When you're winning, you stop playing and you leave the table. You cash in your chips and you leave the casino. The morons, the idiots, they're up thousands of dollars. Sometimes, in some cases, hundreds of thousands of dollars. And they go, woohoo, and they keep playing and then they lose it all because the casino always wins if you play long enough. That's just how that shit works. And that same principle applies to five flags and your life. You get the fuck out when you're winning. You don't wait till your country goes to absolute shit. And then you say, oh, Caleb, I guess Caleb is right. Maybe I should work on my location-dependent income now. Or maybe Alpha Male 2.0 is better. You don't wait until you know, you're married, you're monogamous, you have no prenuptial agreement, your wife is screaming at you, you get divorced, She's coming after half your money. You can't see your own children. And then you say, I guess Caleb was right about monogamy not working and I should date multiple women. No, motherfucker, no. You actually build these models, get them working. When things are relatively okay, then you get the fuck out. That's what I did. I wanted to leave while the getting was still relatively good. And I did that in 2021. Now, I don't have to worry about the United States. That is not my problem anymore. That's your fucking problem if you live there. Or Canada is your problem if you live there. Or Europe is your problem if you live there. 2023 is going to be an extremely painful year for a lot of people, particularly people in the West. And when I say a lot of people, I mean including many of you. Many of you, perhaps even you, watching this video or listening to this podcast, are going to have a really bad year coming up in 2023. And you're gonna have that year because you didn't take my fucking advice on location-dependent income through a business you own and control and or non-monogamous relationships where no one woman controls your sex life or controls your balls, where you're getting laid whenever you want, the way you wanna get laid, of course, consenting adults, yes, but you're getting laid the way you want, not the way your monogamous wife or a monogamous girlfriend force you to. You guys are going to have the roughest time. And I've said many times that as the collapse continues to occur, it is beta males. It is typical everyday average guys who are going to get destroyed the worst. Alpha male 1.0s can survive to some degree. Andrew Tate will probably be okay if and when the Western world collapses. I will certainly be okay. But are you at that level? No. Most likely you are a beta or living a beta or beta-ish lifestyle. If that's you... This should be a wake-up call. I want 2023, January 2023, to be the month you finally, you motherfuckers, you finally make the decision to say, all right, I can't do this anymore. I can't destroy my life. I've got to get off the couch. I've got to get off my chair. I've got to get off my ass. 
I have to develop a location independent business that I control, Alpha Tupano business model, and I have to get off my ass, get into the real world, find at least two, not 27, not 12, two women who I find at least cute, not supermodels, not 18 year olds, two women you find at least cute and get them to like me enough where I can have sex with both of these women and they know I'm having sex with the other woman and they keep seeing me anyway. Those two model sets, the two tires on your motorcycle, as I talk about in the Unchained Man, the two fundamental baselines of the Alpha Male 2.0, which is the baseline foundation for the rest of your life in terms of your happiness as a man. Your sex life is good to go, your financial life is good to go. And this will be much harder to do the longer you fucking wait. The longer you wait, the harder this gets. And a lot of you have waited too long. You could even argue it is too late. I don't think we're there yet. Yet. The day is coming, and I don't know when this day is coming. It could be a few more years from now. Probably is a few years from now, but not much, not long. The day is coming where I'm going to get on this podcast or get on my YouTube channel and say, you know what? I'm sorry to say this. As of today, I don't see a way out for those of you who have no location independent income who live in these countries. You're just fucked. You can't leave now because you're whatever. Uh, your, your government has made rules about how you can't leave the country or you can't leave the country for this reason, or because the changes the banking system, there's no point in location, whatever. And if you already have location independent income at that point, you'll be okay. I'll say, you guys who followed my advice, you're okay. You guys who didn't, you're fucked. You're, it has now begun, now you're fucked. And I, I wish you would listen to me. I, we're not there yet though, that's my point. We're not there yet. You have time if you get started now. You don't have any time left to not get started. You're out of time. You must get your shit together in 2023 now. Double, triple, quadruple that if you voluntarily choose to spend the rest of your life in the collapsing Western world. And again, most of you have made that decision or made that decision by default by not making a decision. Fine, I'm not gonna argue with you about that. That's fine. If you wanna stay in the collapsing USA or cuckoo Canada, or suicidal Europe, or authoritarian Australia for the rest of your life, fine. Everything I'm saying, 10 exit. Boy, do you not have a lot of time. Boy, do you need to get your ass moving right the fuck now. Now, if you're outside the Western world, you could argue you have a little more time. If you live in Paraguay, if you live in Dubai like I do, you live in Colombia, you live in Thailand, okay, you might have a little more time. I understand that. Okay, but likely you probably already have some of these models in place already, don't you? You're likely already seeing multiple attractive women, aren't you? I know a lot of you guys are. Or you probably already have some sort of location dependent income, don't you? Great. So you're not even a good example because you already did this stuff. I'm talking to you guys who haven't done this yet. Now's the time to start. And, and I'll give you the bottom line on this in terms of emotional motivation. I've talked a lot about this in other videos, other podcasts. I certainly talk about this in the Unchained Man Society at unchainedmansociety.com. A lot of our coaching programs, my books, all that stuff. The bottom line is, if you haven't taken the action to get your shit together, you're not uncomfortable enough. Caleb, that's not true. I hate my life. I've talked about this. Most people are like, I hate my life. It sucks, but it's not that bad. That's where you are. You need to get to the point where it's, oh my God, I hate this. Oh my God, this is horrible. You need to get in touch with your pain. I've talked about this. You look in the mirror and you visualize yourself 10 years in the future, you've made no changes. You're still not getting laid or you're still a beta male having sex with just one overweight, unattractive, bitchy, monogamous girlfriend or wife. You've made no changes in that area. It's 10 years later. How do you feel? Or you still have a bullshit corporate job that you fucking hate or worse, you have no job. You're just doing gig to gig to gig to gig to gig, Mr. Uber driver. And you know, you have no business you control. You're not making any real money. It's not location dependent. And 10 years later, you still don't have it. How do you feel? You've got to get in touch with your pain and let that motivate you and push you forward. Because if you haven't taken action on this stuff, you're not enough pain. And I'll say this, there is a smaller percentage of you in my audience who need to seek therapy, need to talk to a therapist. You're too fucked up. You're too far gone mentally, emotionally, psychologically. You've got to work with a therapist. Don't give me the bullshit excuses. I tried that once and he was an asshole. I tried to a therapist and they were dicks. They don't understand me. Stop being a fucking beta pussy and get the fucking help you need. 
I've talked about in prior videos, I've hired fitness coaches to give me the help that I need losing weight. I didn't sit there and say, well, fitness fitness people are assholes. I'm not going to have that. I'm just going to sit here and be overweight the rest of my life. I didn't say that. Okay? So if I can do it, you can do it. Rule of three, you might not like the first therapist. Then you fire that person, get the next therapist. You might not like him or her. Fire him, get the next one. Third one will work. Okay? Maybe the first one will work. I don't know. No more excuses. Maybe you need hypnotism. Maybe you need to talk to a mentor or a friend or your dad. I don't have a dad. Okay, maybe you need to talk to an older man in your life. You can't talk to me. I'm too expensive. I'm sorry. But do whatever you need to do to get off your ass and get into action with no more goddamn excuses. You don't have time. Not anymore. You don't. You can fuck around. This is 1987. You can fuck around a lot. I had friends when I was in high school in my early 20s, in the late 80s, early 90s, who were losers, okay, just fucked around, and today they're okay because you had time back then. The Western world wasn't collapsing yet back then. Now it is. You can make the argument it's already collapsed. Some people have actually made that argument where the United States fiscally, financially has already collapsed. You just haven't felt it yet. Not inaccurate. You don't have time. It's time to move. Let 2023 be the year you finally get this shit done. And let 2024 be a happy year, even though the whole world is crumbling around you. And I experienced this literally in my life in 2020. 2020, the year that was the worst year for many people's lives, was one of, if not the, it could be the, but one of the best years of my life, financially, in my income, in my investments, and in my sex life. 2020 was amazing. While the rest of the world was burning and collapsing and going insane and driving each other crazy and people getting depressed and getting sick and killing themselves and bitching on the internet, I was having the best year of my life, or at least one of them, and that's a high bar. I've had a good life the last 16 years. Alpha male 2.0 is awesome. So if I've already experienced this at least once, and I'm gonna experience many more times again, join my club. Let 2024 be the year that the world burns, but you're having the best year of your fucking life. And Alpha Male 2.0 is not that hard. Let me end with that. Getting to the point where you can manage two women, just two, who are cute to you on sexual rotation as FBs or MLTRs, and building a location-independent business that you control where you make at least $85,000 a year, okay? That's net profit before taxes, is not that hard. You might think it's hard. It's not. Nothing I teach is super difficult for the typical Western man. Nothing I teach. Nothing. It's not like I'm saying you need to be a multimillionaire by next year, right? It's not like I'm saying you need to bang supermodels or 18-year-old girls if you're 45. I'm not saying that. You can if you want. Maybe some of us have done those things, but those are options. I'm not telling you to do this. I told you what the baseline is. Two women who are at least cute to you, 85K a year location dependent. That's it. Then you're there. You're good to go for the rest of your life. You're now protected from what we know is coming and in many respects is already here. You could be there in the next two to five years, maybe even less if you get started now. And then for the rest of your life, you're good to go. You can relax and not worry about this shit because your life is so awesome. And I am here to help you, but I can't make you do it. My advice is useless to you if you don't take action on it. Otherwise, my advice is just entertainment. That's all my advice is to you. It's entertainment. It's a fun way for you to spend your time like playing a video game. Oh, Caleb has a new podcast. I'll listen to that again. It'll be fun and I won't take any action on it. That's what I am to you. I'm entertainment to you. That's fine. That's part of the game I choose to play here. A small percentage of you will take action on this and live amazing lives, and the rest of you will consider me entertainment Try to be in that percentage that actually accomplishes something and lives a better life. It's, it's my mission to help you. That's why I'm here. Please, for the love of God that doesn't exist, make that decision in your life. Please, please do this. Please. I'm asking you nicely. Please. You'll have only yourself to thank. Cool? Cool. All right. See you next podcast. Have fun. Bye.